Hey, what's up you guys? After to Reacts here, and today I'm going to be reacting to some more Stargate SG-1. Uh, what's different about this video? Um, well, with Monday being free, like, 70% mm, of the time, because, you know, Legacy like to go on breaks every other week, um, it kind of frees up a day. Um, so, here we are. You will only be getting one episode a week. But we're here! We're doing Stargate. I hope this made a whole lot of sense. This is Season 1, Episode 4, titled Emancipation. Eh, eh, Emancipation. Let's get into it. It's never gonna get old. Also, I just want to say, my dad was super excited when I said I was, like, picking this show up to do weekly. He was a super mess. excited. Let's get a move on before we meet somebody who remembers. So this is the why. first mission, technically, as a unit. There's no signs of human life. This could be some forbidden zone. Wait, I hear something. It sounds like dogs. Ah, get out of here! You okay? Okay. Oh. Yes, I am. Thanks be to you, but forgive me. I am Abu of the Shavadai. Shavadai? Abu? Like the monkey? The people of the steppe. Well, uh, hello. Uh, I'm Daniel Jackson. This is... Jack. Jack. You are not from the people of the river. We're, we're travelers from very far It's kind far of funny away. that we've got, like... The Sea of Ogada? Jack. Sure. Never, Never have we met anyone from that far away. You will be doubly welcome in my father's Jack O'Neill. This is Teal'c. Daniel and Jackson. this is Dr. Little Carter. Jack. The dogs are gone. For now. This is a woman? <laughs> oh, yeah. What, do, do I have something growing out of my nose, or...? He looks really upset. It must be some sort of cultural thing. No! I cannot look at you! Okay, now I'm hurt. You know how to look at your Abu, Abu! You must take her. You must take her and go. Go! Colonel, I think these people are Mongols. This is good news. Daniel, find out what I did wrong so I can fix it. No. I don't no. think it was anything you did. I think That's it's right. your gender. We'll just take her with us and go. It's a firearm. It, it shoots like your bow shoots an arrow. She speaks. She dies. So, no! No, she saved my life! How dare you! A woman saved a life. Hers cannot be taken. Oh, you're my guests. If you will travel this country, you must learn our ways. I'm thinking we should just go back while we're ahead. If we learn their customs, we'll be okay. It's an incredible opportunity to study an ancient culture up close. What's a woman? Ah, uh, they cover up. Okay, it looks like all the females like cover up. Please sit. Now you may talk. Uh, good, because I uh, I still don't understand what happened out there. Among our people, it is death for a woman to show her face in public. Or to wear the clothes of a man. The old laws weigh heavily. Okay, so, uh... It is well you saved Abu from the dogs. It gave me a way to prevent your death. Uh, thank you for that. Soon, the old laws, uh, the old ways, will no longer serve us. Trade will one day replace war. This is the future. We have strongest, being fastest stuck in the past. horses and camels. The finest wool and medicines. Drugs of unheard of power. Oh, we've got some pretty swell drugs of our own. 
Colonel, a, a lot of breakthroughs in medicine are coming out of the mountains and the, the, the jungles. We should really see what he's got. I will show you. Follow me. I'm afraid you cannot go until you are properly attired. Properly attired? Um, you should probably do what they want. Um, anthropologists do it all the time. They dress and live as the people they're studying. I, I'm not an anthropologist. You are today. Daniel, find me an anthropologist that dresses like this, and I will eat this headdress. You are the most beautiful woman I have ever seen. They're all just... Oh, my God, look at them. Guess the kid doesn't get out much. Uh, the good news is uh, you were right. One of Abu's plants seems to work as um, an anesthetic. We're taking some home to be had. All things considered, Samantha, if we have to come back here, it might be a better idea if we brought an all-male team. No offense. Well, in view of the fact that you all get to go to this party tonight and I get to stay in this yurt that smells like rancid yak butter and untaken, I'll just get a good night's sleep and hope for better luck next time. Mm. Because the first time they go on a freaking adventure and she can't even, like, it's like women are stuck in the dark ages. You gonna be all right? I'm still doubting me. I haven't been afraid of the dark since I was two. You look great. Kill me now because I am gonna talk. Here, you may drink and eat. What the hell do you think you're doing? There's something I want, more than life itself. Until yesterday, I thought it was impossible. And then I saw you, dressed like that. And I knew your beauty would buy it for me. What do you mean, buy? I will trade you. You, you can't do that. No. I can. I'm a human being, not property. Where we are going, the men are not as tolerant as my father. Be warned. They saved you and you're doing this. Really? Oh my god. I just saw this guy on revenge. Turkey may wish to bid me welcome. I've come That's to That's so trade. weird. He didn't then so much come, stuff. Shall I die? See the son of my enemy. How he pales in my presence. You risk your head coming here. For what? You think this interests me? Yes. I don't belong to this man. I was abducted against my will. Where is she from? Sia Bogada. My friends will come after me. They have weapons more powerful than you can imagine, and they won't hesitate. Silence! Or I will have you beaten. You may do whatever you wish with her when she is yours. And I would see her. Satisfied? Name your price. Why do you hesitate? Name it. Gold, horses, weapons. I have the finest metal craftsman in the mountain. No. What then? Naya. He's in love. You would trade a woman for another woman? Naya is not just another woman. No, she is my daughter. She will marry a chieftain. The desert warlord Chimaka. Asian like you. Father, please. It is done. Chimaka will come on the next moon. The offer for the woman is 300 weights of gold. Take it or die. Either way, the woman is mine. 
That's not how selling works. Not that he should be able to do this at all. Done. They stopped here. Oh, the the horse. Horse. And so must we. For two marks. What can you do? Can you cook? Spin, weave, make dyes. I'm a lousy cook, and I couldn't spin, weave, or die if my life depended on it. You made yourself a bad deal. Well, where you come from, you must have done something. In my world, I am a warrior and a scholar. I do the work of men. Warrior. Let me tell you what I do. I raid and burn the tents of my enemies. I slaughter the men, trade the women and children. For this, I am feared. And because of that fear, I have the allegiance of 22 tribes. Would, Would you like to down? sell your daughter off to make it 23? How would you like to be hung upside down with dust filled rhymes stuffed in your mouth and nostrils? A slow death from suffocation. I'm sorry, I'm sure you know what's best for her. The spirits have brought you here to teach you how to be a woman. She knows how to be a woman. It's not. Small. I can't believe that she'd be left alone, but I guess all the other women would be you belong Let me go. Aww. What kind of woman are you? Do you respect nothing? Care for no one but yourself. You care for no one but yourself. For you. Now because of you, they will be punished. That chick pregnant? No! It was my fault. If you need to beat a woman to feel like a man, try me. I value spirit in my horses, not my women. <laughs> you to me. You will learn your place and be obedient, or you will suffer far worse than a beating. We are all afraid. If you do not obey, my father will kill you. I know. My father is a good man. He never mistreats women unless she has done something wrong. There's no excuse to beat a woman ever. He's a powerful warlord. Our women and our children are always protected, always have food. How can you defend him? He's, he's packing you off to marry a total stranger. I have no choice. I'm not so free to choose. And you never will be until one of you says no. Who owns the place? An enemy. A man who kills for pleasure. This is very bad. Well, then we'll go in and get her up tonight. For your attack, there will be war. And Turgon is allied with 22 clans. And when he fights, he takes no prisoners. You mean they'd kill all of you? If you will wait until morning, I will go and request trade. He cannot refuse. But what will happen to Dr. Carter tonight if we wait? Turgon will partake in his newest purchase. Oh, there's not a chance in hell. In our land, if a man wants a woman, she can say no. No one refuses Turgon and lives. Then we go now. you willing to spend to get her back? We will offer 350 weights of gold. A rare prize. 400? 400. 
I may even make a way. Oh, for crying out loud. 500. We'll pay it back. <clears throat> Why this one? I have others, younger, fit to bear many sons. Enough to start your own tribe. She is a woman of power for our people. Not only a warrior, but a, a, a shaman. She knows the spirits of our land. They tell her when it's time to plant grain, when water will be scarce, things like that. You take me for a fool. He speaks truly. In the land of Ogata, the women are as ours were long ago. That and more. Kartiri is our chieftain. Our people need her. Get out. You have nothing I want. Oh, yeah? What are you gonna do when you run out of bullets, dude? Alright, there's only five more rounds in that clip. Time to go. You just gave very bad people weapons. What a relief. I've never been so happy to see you guys. Oh, sure you have. Remember that time on P3X 595? You drank that stuff that made you take off? <clears throat> we won't get into that right now. For a second there, I was like, what? I thought this was the first mission. I was like, am I watching the right episode? I am. Please, you must help me. What happened? Where's Naya? She came to me, just like the wind said she would. But before we could make our way, her father caught us. Now, if you don't help me, she will be stoned to death. Stoned to death? And how about we? Oh, curse me for the max. Really bad jerk, Jenny? Better to have left her to marry Chimaka. I would not see anything I cared for. Go to Chimaka. Can I get a little clarification here? Her own father ordered her stoned to death, is that right? Turgon is compelled to uphold the law even more if it applies to his own. He must rule by example. Now, there has to be another way. Miguel, what about the old laws? Yes, if we fight with law, Turgon cannot make war. Father, please, think. Remember, there must be a law. There is one. You have no say here, Shabadai. Stoning may be challenged by another chieftain. There is no such law. There is. In the song of Akantir, the spirit will strengthen the hand of the just. I will not fight a cripple. You must. You insult my honor by implying that I would engage in such a slaughter. You will lose, and my daughter will still die. So unless there's another chieftain who will challenge my decision. I challenge it. You. You play me. And fight. Here's your chance to shut me up once and for all. I will abide by the wisdom of the spirits. So just out of curiosity, how do the spirits determine who wins? Death. It is a fight to the death. Death. Hey, no one said anything about knives. She's free to go. And the Shabadai? My lord, there can be no war between us. And me? And me? You have won. You are also free to go. These things are always like to the death. But the hero of the show or movie or whatever doesn't actually ever kill the person. 
early for the wedding. Oh, a six-day wedding. You know, we really should get back. It is a joyous time. But we all wish you and Naya many years of happiness and many sons, too. And daughters. <laughs> It is how you will be remembered, Kata. They made some real difference here. So you think this new anesthesia will be a miracle drug on Earth? Well, if it is, I bet somebody else will get the credit. We can never say where it came from. Damn. Guess I'm gonna have to cancel that Oprah interview. What is an Oprah? Well, that was season one, episode four of Stargate SG One. Um, pretty decent episode, actually. Um, uh, we dealt with like a lot of like cultural issues, kind of. Um, like the way that women can be treated. Um, it's interesting because this show, like, obviously it aired many, many, many years ago. Um. And so it's interesting to, like, see them kind of be a little bit progressive, um, even back then. Um, it was nice to see Samantha Carter being a bit of a badass. Um, and it was nice to see that they actually made some change. Yeah. Um... overall pretty soon what did you guys think let me know um i hope you guys are excited that this is now on the schedule um let me know what you think and i'll see you in the next one